functions. Exam preparation examples part two. Let's continue with example two. I have the function fx is equal to 3x minus 2. gx equals 5x minus 7. hx equals x squared plus x. And jx equals 3 to the power of x. Okay, find f2. First, very easy. So in the function of f, you just substitute 2. I just want to get my pen. You just substitute 2. And then it's going to be 6 minus 2, which is 4. Very simple. And then in function g, substitute 2. So now you do exactly the same. And what is your answer? Now it's going to be 3. Okay. And then h, this is a composite function, h, g, uh, j, 2. So first get j, 2, because remember, we always start from the back. So j, 2, so... It's going to be 3 to the power of 2, and that's going to be 9, because it's 3 times 3. And then that answer, you're going to substitute in h. So h9, and then it's going to be 9 squared plus 9, and that is going to be 81 plus 9, and that's going to be 90. Okay, now, number b. Find x when the inverse function is equal to 4. So that means you must first go and find the inverse function. Okay, so how do you do it? In the place of jx, you put a y, step 1. Step 2, where you see a y, just get the pen, where you see a y, you make an x, and where you see an x, you make a y. And now, you make y the subject of the formula. Okay. So to make y the subject of the formula by converting it from index form to log form. Very important. Go to logs. So you keep the base and you just swap the x and the y. Okay. And now it's in log form. Okay. And now, so find, now, now I have the inverse. So now go j minus 1x. Okay. So that's the inverse. And now in the place of that, in the place of y actually, uh, j to the power of negative 1, the inverse function, you put 4. And now you're going to convert again from log form to index form. So you need to now go through the chapter, I think it's 5, where you go through logs. So basically, you're just going to say um, it's going to be x, and then it's going to be, uh, keep the base, keep, um, keep the base, that's going to be 3, and swap the x and the 4. And then it's going to be 3 to the power of 4, and it's going to be 81. Okay, very nice. Excellent example combined with logarithms. And then uh, simplify. It's the inverse j1. Okay, so you're first going to substitute in j just 1, and you get 3. And now you use the inverse, uh, and you substitute um, in the inverse function, and you get 1, and that is going to be 1. Now, very important, very important. Uh, if j is then, then j is equal to x. So if you say, for example, if that value that you have there, do you see? That will be the value there. If it's x, x. So just remember this note. It's really going to help you. So if it was, say, j, and you can test it, and uh, the inverse, and then the normal function, and it's 5, then it's going to be equal to 5. So that values will be exactly the same. Okay. Now, let's stop. This is a very nice, a little bit different, so a beautiful example. I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do try now too. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay. Now, as you know, I always like to first write down my functions. So, try now too. Okay. So, let's re just write down the functions. So, the first one, <clears throat> and I'm going to make a different color. So, f x equals 8 minus 3 x. Okay. And then g x equals 10 over x plus 1. And then h x equals 2 to the power of x. Okay. So let's start with this, this example. This one is a bit more complex. It's, it doesn't start simple. It, it actually already go into it. 
Okay, so let's start with the first one, number A. So it's going to be, okay, let's just get that value correct, HF, and it's going to be 8 over 3. Okay, so let's just start with that one. So we start first with F. So if we're going to go F, 8 over 3, and that's going to be 8 minus 3, 8 over 3. Okay. And that is going to be very easy because now it's basically just going to be 8 minus, put it over 1, the freeze cancel, minus 8, and that's 0. So now I'm going to go for the H and I'm going to put this 0. Okay. So if I put the 0 and it's going to be 2 to the power of 0, and anything to the power of 0 will be equal to 1. And it's always good to just maybe end with this, to say, therefore, HF 8 over 3 will give me an answer of 0. That's what I end with. Okay, I'm going to make space every time, not to move it up too far. Okay. So, let's go to number B. Now, this is going to be G, H, and this is negative 2. Okay. So, let's start again with, from the back, always remember, H. So, I go H, negative 2. And that's going to be 2 to the power of negative 2. So, if you want to, if it's over 1, it's going to be 1 over 2 to the power 2, and that's going to be one quarter. Okay. And now I'm going to say G. One quarter equals 10 over a quarter plus one. And that's going to be 10 over one and a quarter. Okay. I'm doing it first without the calculator. So it's 10 over one. Now this is going to be divide by 5 over 4. I'm doing very long. So it's 10 over 1 multiply 4 over 5. And that is going to be, um, this is going to be 40 over 5. And that is going to be 8. Okay, so I can end again by saying, therefore, G H negative 2 will be equal to 8. And that will be my final answer. Okay, let's go to the next one, number C. Oh. Okay. Okay, so in, in number C, you are just going to just write it first down. So this is just the inverse. Very nice. And it's G, so I could have actually started with G, but it's fine. So I'm going to say Y is equal to 10 over X plus 1. Step 1, in the place of G, put a Y, GX. Now, when you see a Y, you make it a X. And when you see X, you make it a Y. Okay, and now I'm going to make Y the subject. So it's one term equals one term, so I cross multiply. So I'm going to get 10 is equal to x, y plus 1. Okay, so I'm doing it again a bit long so that you follow my video very nice. Okay, so I, I keep this term with the y on this side and I take the other term over. Okay, and now I'm just going to divide by x. So if I divide by a, uh, x on both sides... I'm going to get that, let's just put it up a little bit. I'm going to get y is equal to 10 minus x over x. So the inverse function is going to be 10 minus x over x. And don't forget this new y to make it g minus 1x to ind indicate it's the inverse function. Very important. Okay. Okay, and now we are at the final one. Now, you can already, but I want to show it to you. But I actually, if you look at my note, and we're just going to test to see if my note is correct. 
But if you look at my note here, what I wrote here, is that if you have the inverse and the normal one and you have 5, that that is equal to that. So that value is equal. So I can already say that this value is equal to 5. Okay. But let's test it. Let's go and let's test it. So I'm going to do it long because I want you to, to see that it's correct. So let's start with number D. So I'm going to say F5. Because I start, okay, I, I first want to write it down nicely for you. So it's F minus 1, F5. Okay, that's what I must work out. So I start by saying F5. So if I go F5, it's going to be 8 minus 3, 5. And that's 8 minus 15. And that's going to be negative 15. 7. Okay. And now, oh, but now I must first find the inverse. So let's do it on the side. It's always good if you come to a point and you say, okay, well, let me just quickly do it. I'm just going to find the inverse. That's why usually it counts just one mark because they want you to, to know this note. Okay. But for now, I'm going to first find quickly the inverse function. So if I'm going to say, I'm going to say it's going to be y is equal to, oh, let's just get my pen correct is equal to 8 minus 3x. So x is equal to 8 minus 3y. So um, I make y the subject. Uh, I take this over and I take the x over and I divide 3 and I divide 3 and I get y is, and I'm long again, I could have already go for my inverse. So but it's f minus 1x. And it's 8 minus x over 3. Okay, so basically I'm going to put this 7 now in. So if I'm going and I'm just saying f, and now I'm putting that negative 7 in. And I'm going to say, and remember it's in the inverse. That's why, indicate, don't say f, say the inverse. And then it's 8 minus negative 7, and that's over 3. And that's 8 plus 7, which is 15, over 3, and that is equal to 5. Can you see what I said to you? That this was equal to this. So, therefore, I'm just ending very nice. So, I'm just ending by saying, therefore, f minus 1, f 5 is equal to 5. Okay. Okay. So, very important. I, I don't think um, I saw so many examples of this in the past exam papers, but, but please, it, it, it's part of functions and very, very nice question, this, uh, this example. A final note. Most of the videos on this channel feature examples from the Y equals MX plus C to success mathematics books. Try your best to purchase your own hard copy from one of the following bookshops. This will enable you to highlight and make personal notes in your own textbook. And remember, the only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. Best of luck.